Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Harris and welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna be reacting to Anthony Jackson League Offensive uh, Stand Up for Muslims. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. Republicans in Georgia are protesting Crayola for creating a Ramadan themed coloring book that depicts Muslim families celebrating. Mostly because there was no room to draw a predator drone over the picture of the wedding party. <laughs> Which brings us to Where's Your God Now? A segment where we find out what offends a specific religion and why, in the grand scheme of things, oh, it's, it's not that awesome. big a deal. This week we took our lives into our own hands with Islam. <laughs> Watch this. Hi. Hi. Thank you for meeting with me. I appreciate Welcome. it. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. They're not known for, but Muslims do have a sense of humor. For instance, your greeting, assalamu alaikum, literally means peace be unto you. Is that supposed to be sarcastic? <laughs> <laughs> That's real. Okay. Uh, devout Muslims keep their women covered. And nope. They don't, and they don't allow them to drive. Nope. Leave the house alone. Nope. Or go to school. Nope. So would you say that a lot of Islamic practices are just common sense? <laughs> uh, why do Muslims seem like they're so angry all the time? Is it because you guys don't have Christmas? <laughs> you never know. I can't speak for one billion Muslims. <laughs> True. Islam is one of the fastest growing religions in the world. So tell me, how do we stop you? You don't have to. No? No. You'll stop yourselves, huh? Yeah, you stop yourself. Because Islam simply means submitting to God. All right, I'm going to show you some pictures, and you tell me if this is offensive to you and your religion or not, and why. Right, okay. Ready? A woman breastfeeding in public. No. No, not at all? Happens a lot throughout the world. Absolutely. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Disney's Aladdin. No. Not at all? Nope. What about Robin Williams' performance in that movie? Awful. Pretty broad, right? Yeah. A car parked in between two parking spaces. Okay, now that offends me. Yeah. I fear you, right? Yes. What would you do to this guy? Nothing. I, it would be more. I'm of sorry. An, I'm sorry. That was insulting. What'd you do to this woman? <laughs> it would be an energy hack. An energy hack. Energy <laughs> hack. I would have to struggle against my own anger. That's tough. Would you key it? Nothing. You guys don't do that, huh? Can't do that. Well, thanks a lot for talking to me today. I feel like you've taught me so much. Do you think I'm now ready to do stand up for a group of Muslims? No. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. It is so great to be here doing stand up for a group of Muslims. How can you tell the difference between a regular Muslim and a terrorist? Wow. I have no idea. And that's kind of the problem, isn't it? Yeah. Two Israelis and American walk into a bar. The bartender says, hey, and then the bar explodes. <laughs> what the fuck? Why did the Muslim cross the road? Because he was being relocated by Israeli authorities to make more room for Jewish settlements on the West Bank. <laughs> I don't get that, but it seems like right up your alley. <laughs> you guys have been a wonderfully non-violent crowd. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great oh, night. I love that concept, though. So, that was Anthony Jensen Lake, uh, Stand Up for Muslims. Uh, you know, I love the concept. I love the whole idea. How he went about it. Asked a random, like, literally a random question. And the guy, only time the guy got offended was because of the fucking car parked. Which actually pissed me off a little bit as well. If you ever driven a car, you know exactly how the fuck this shit goes. And the very first opening joke was absolute brilliant when he said, "Yeah, there's no drones to strike on a wedding picture." So that was really funny. And uh, then doing the joke, like how to tell a different between a Muslim and a terrorist, and he's like, "I don't know. Somebody gonna tell me. You all look the same." <laughs> that was good. I I really did enjoy that. Like I enjoyed a shit like that, man. Like, I don't, like, most people don't get offended, it's just idiots who get offended. But I really did enjoy that, and I hope you did too. If you did, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.